Okay guys, Ben here again obviously and I just want to say congratulations on getting past the first couple of days because the first couple of days on this 21 day program is always the hardest because your muscles are going to be sore, you're going to find it a nightmare or you probably have found it a nightmare to get your head around the nutrition stuff, um, changing your habits, getting your, your ADs in, getting your showers in or your baths, whatever you've been getting and it's all about creating those habits and routines for this 21 days, okay? A lot of these these things I want you to pretty much keep up with after the 21 days anyway, but it's all about making that lifestyle change, which can always be quite a bit of a nightmare. So, today's video, I'm just going to quickly look at why we're doing the cleanse, why we're doing the detox, okay? So, this is basically why we're cutting out certain stuff, but... Firstly, I just want to answer the question, why 21 days? Why did I decide to do this program for 21 days? Because you actually need at least 14 days to clear out your liver, to actually cleanse your body. Okay, I'm going to explain what that is in a second. Some of you might have seen this already. Okay, you need to get it 100% all the way. Okay, with intense programs like this, you can't really give it 90% or 95% and expect like the best results. You've gotta, you've gotta keep it hundred percent clean all the way. Otherwise, it doesn't work a hundred percent. Yeah, because I never like to leave anything down to chance for anybody. Okay, so it's basically all about the toxins. So when you consume stuff, basically the stuff that I've got you to cut out, which we're gonna go over in a second. So things like your dairy, your wheat, your processed things, alcohol. When you when you actually consume that stuff, your body actually gets overwhelmed, and your liver can't actually deal with it properly. So what it does there is it actually wraps it in basically body fat and water, okay? And that's obviously how you can actually lose a lot of body fat really quickly on programs that I do because you actually cut out the toxins, okay? I've got a picture to show you in a second that explains this really well, okay? Also, the 21 days, it's really good to give yourself a deadline because if you don't give yourself a deadline, then... Stuff normally never gets done. Yeah? So if you set yourself a certain day to get something done, because we've got the start and end date, then you're going to stick to it, or more than likely you're going to stick to it a lot more. Okay? Instead of just doing some random 21 days at a random point. So as I've already said, it's all about your liver cleanse. It's all about giving that a chance to actually clean up your toxins around your body. And then it's got no need to actually store as much. Yeah? So... This first part, again, a lot of you might have seen this already in any of my other videos and stuff, but it really explains it well. So say you, your bit on the left is your starting point, and this is what happens when people go on a traditional diet. And a traditional diet normally is just basically reducing calories, okay? Now, your little dots on the, on the body on the left, or in all of them, in fact, shows your impurities or your toxins in your body, okay? So when you go on a diet, yeah, you're going to lose weight. You're going to, your body's going to get a bit smaller. But because you're still eating the toxins, you actually have a higher concentration of the toxins in your body, which is what the middle picture shows. So when you get the smaller body, you actually get increased percentage of impurities. That's when you get your rebound, okay? That's when you're yo-yoing with your weight up and down, up and down. Because your body actually senses an increased level of impurities and goes into emergency fat production. So you get that rebound effect, okay? This is the stuff that we're doing, the bottom part, the cleansing. So we actually cut out your toxins. Your body, your liver can actually deal with what it's got stored and actually dump all that away, okay? You sweat it out. Uh, you basically get rid of it from your body in any way possible, okay? So you're going to excrete it, you're going to sweat it, etc. You're going to use it as energy as well, okay? So... The middle part is what you're going through now. So your, your impurities are actually released from the body. So your body sheds fat. That's when you get a maintenance phase. You can actually maintain the weight that you've dropped. Because you actually end up with a better overall health. With less fat and more lean muscle. Okay. So that's what we're doing with a cleanse. Okay. That's why we're cutting out those eliminate uh, foods that we've got here to eliminate. You probably want to keep those out as much as you can after the 21 days anyway. Okay. I'm going to explain why. So the wheat, this is the things like your bread, your pasta. Um, it's in a lot of things wheat, so you've just got to check what's, what it's in, okay, when you when you check your labels. Wheat is actually one of the main causes on 
things like when people have skin conditions, things like that, and it really slows down your digestive system. So you're going to feel a lot less bloated when you cut it out as well, okay? Gluten as well included. So this is things like sauces, okay? It's in a lot of stuff and it's hidden in there, so you've got to check your labels again. So dairy, again, another big one. You're not meant to actually have dairy, so things like milk, you've got to cut out, okay? Because milk is actually perfectly engineered for baby cows, yeah, for calves, yeah? So not for humans. Baby's milk or breast milk is actually perfect for babies. Just like just like if someone said, or oh, I've drunk my mother's milk, it's a bit weird if you're over a couple of years old or whatever, yeah? Now, if you said that you drunk your mate's mother's milk, that's even weirder, yeah? But imagine drinking another species mother's milk yes yeah? so that's what you do with cows yeah it's not even the same species and we're drinking milk yeah if that makes sense you shouldn't really be having that stuff especially because it's heavily processed nowadays it's, it's homogenized and pasteurized as well which basically rids any good stuff that's there anyway okay a lot of people will say well where do i get my calcium from when you cut out your milk you actually get it from Things like watercress and almonds, they have much more calcium in than dairy anyway, than milk, yeah? It's just that it's a lot easier to sell something like milk. It's just heavily marketed, okay? It's just clever advertising, okay? So processed food, another one. You should not be having anything microwaved, etc. When you microwave stuff, it actually heats up the water particles inside the food and that's how it cooks, okay? Now... It changes the chemical composition of that food. Have you never actually thought that, say when you're cooking something that's that's um, processed, you'll notice that on, your, on the back, let's say it takes a couple of minutes, let's say it takes four or five minutes in the microwave to cook, and yet if you want to oven cook it, it takes 25 minutes. Yeah, Something not right there if, if you can cook something in five minutes, yet in an oven it takes 25. Yeah, It's because it actually changes the chemical composition of your food. And it's no longer actually treated as food in your body. And it's treated as an, basically an alien substance that your body doesn't recognise. And it's toxic and your body has to deal with that. Yeah? So if you're constantly having microwave meals, then get rid of that. Okay. Alcohol. Another big one. Alcohol stops you burning fat for three days. Okay, It's as simple as that. Your body actually treats it as like a liquid sugar. So it's going to play havoc with your hormone levels. And obviously you get the whole appetite thing involved as well. So you're going to crave that junk food. Yeah. So get rid of that. So it puts a break on the fat loss. Sugar. It's another one that plays havoc with your, your hormone levels. And if you struggle for belly fat and sorry, especially fat around the hips, love handles, then sugar is the thing that you're probably going to be basically needing to cut out the most. Okay. If you're not struggling around them areas, still cut out the sugar anyway because it's going to help reduce your general overall body fat. Your sugar, you should have heard me say this before, when you actually eat sugary things or even things that are quite high, um, sorry, high in GI, so carbs that release the sugar quick, actually pump your blood sugar up quite quick. Any excess blood sugar that you have, if you're not using it as a fuel to burn it off straight away, then you're going to store that as fat, okay? So sugar makes you fat, fat does not make you fat, okay? I need you to understand that. Tap water, we've cut that out because it's full of toxins. As I think there's about over 350 chemicals in, in tap water, depending on whereabouts in the country you live. Obviously, some parts cleaner than others, but added stuff like the chlorine and the, the fluoride, etc., etc., doesn't really get filtered out properly, and especially if you've got... Um, filters and stuff the only filters that i know of that do it or do a better job they're about 700 quid so your everyday filter won't get rid of the, the fluoride in there okay fluoride strips your, your thyroid of iodine which obviously damages your thyroid health which is important for your metabolism control okay so we know that nutrition is important it's actually more important than any of your training okay the training speeds everything up the training is obviously beneficial to have in there but if your nutrition's not right, you're not going to get anywhere. It's like trying to build a house on sand, yeah? You need to get the foundations right. 
So the nutrition plan or any good nutrition plan should follow these two simple rules. Number one, remove all foods and substances that your body treats as toxic or devitalizing. So basically any, any foods that your body's not going to get benefit from. Number two, only consume nutritionally supportive food. So in a way, this to sum this up quite simply is only eat food that's good for you and don't eat food that's bad for you. It's as simple as that, okay? Now, again, any good nutrition plan should follow that because everything you eat is not for pleasure during this 21 days, especially. It's for a result because every action that you take is either get you going to get you leaner or fatter. It's as simple as that. So that's pretty much it in terms of your nutrition. A bit of a summary on that and why we're doing some of the stuff and why we're putting certain stuff out. And the next video I'm going to do is on hormones. Okay, so some of the stuff that we're going to do on hormones. So again, I hope you learn a little bit from that. Uh, make sure you keep on track. Epic. Have a top day. Bye-bye.